Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another recreation video for you. I know how much you love my previous recreations and I absolutely love filming these videos. So this one is on the viral passport makeup on TikTok. I've seen so many other creators recreate this and apparently everyone looks good in this makeup. So I wanted to try it for myself. Granted, I probably would not use this for my passport. When I go to the airport, have no makeup messy bun they probably would not let me on the plane <laughs> okay <laughs> if I did this makeup for my passport makeup I thought it was beautiful makeup regardless of what you choose to use this for so that is what we're doing today the creator of this look is Georgia Barat I'm not sure how to say her last name but I will have it on the screen and link below if you want to go check her out definitely go follow her over on TikTok she has amazing makeup looks over there and I follow her as well so we're going to start this look off I'm going to play her video. I don't think I can actually play it with sound in this video like I could the others because she does have background music which could be flagged for copyright. I'm pretty sure I can play the intro though. I actually can't. The music goes on right away. For her brows, Georgia uses the Got To Be Glued which you guys know is my favorite thing for my brows and she puts that in with a spoolie. She likes to lift it up like I do and she squares off the front. So she does have very full brows. I'm going to try and get mine as full as I can, but they definitely have more of an arch to them than hers. And I don't have any tail. <laughs> she doesn't show cleaning up any of the glue that gets on your skin, which is an essential step. If you are to recreate this with the got to be glued, if it gets on your skin and you put your foundation on over top, it's just going to look really cakey and crusty. So you do need to clean it up. So I'm gonna just do that right now. Her brows just glued look like mine when they're done. So I'm going to actually fill mine in now just so that I can get the shape because they're very uneven. It just helps me out personally if I can do my brows first. I think she does hers near the end of this. She also carves out her brows prior to filling them in. I'm just gonna do it after. <laughs> this is the only way I feel I can get my brows to look like hers. Hers are considerably larger than I've been doing mine. I'm trying to get those big laminated brows and it looks fairly light also underneath. So I'm just mixing two concealers to try and get the right shade. All products will be listed below in the order I use them in case you're curious. I don't have everything she uses. I collected the things that I did have, but she has some brands that I've never heard of. She goes in with skincare and does a hydrating primer. I'm going to be going in with this from Refer. It's their hydration cream. I already did a little bit of skincare, so this is going to act as skincare and my hydrating primer. My skin feels already really good though. So I'm just going to do this. She wants glowy skin. Makeup just goes on so much better when you have a hydrated base. Then for a foundation, Georgia uses one of my personal favorites. As you can tell, I'm almost done this. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. She uses the shade Stromboli. I have Vanuatu. I do have a sample of Stromboli here in case you wanna compare the colors just a little bit lighter and more warm. Vanuatu definitely has more of a neutral rosy undertone, which works for me. I always forget how good that foundation is if I haven't used it for a while. For concealer, she's going in with Beauty Crop, I think the brand is called. I've never heard of it. If it's a popular brand in the UK, let me know. I'd love to check out their products because they look really good on her and she used that brand for primer as well. I'm going to be using a sponge to blend out the concealer as well. And I just got these ones from Amazon. They're the Paw Paw Wonder Blenders. I keep hearing about these on TikTok, YouTube, everywhere. So I'm gonna try that out today. It got really big under the water. She puts concealer under her eye and on her eyelid. I already did my eyelid and then she wants to carve out her brows with a lighter concealer, which I did, and it just happens to be on my eyelid as well. She actually takes it all the way under. Her contour is where things get intense. She has a smaller forehead than I do, and she just carves the temples. I'm gonna try that for this look, but normally I like to contour all the way up. I'm using the NARS Laguna Cream Bronzer. I definitely have to contour the top. <laughs> my forehead's just much too large. And then she just places it high up at the back portion and then she follows it which she says she doesn't normally do down towards the mouth in that line right there definitely slims that side of the face georgia puts it on her chin to point off her chin 
I don't need the contour there for my, myself. As you can see, my chin's already pointy. So she has different areas just based on her face shape. You can tell where she wants to contour. That's definitely something that I don't need to do is to accentuate that part of my face even more. We're already pointy. So I'm just going to drag it back like she does to accentuate the jaw. And she says it's all about the contour. So it's okay to go heavy handed, especially for the photo. I even feel like I could go a little bit heavier. So she puts this in the socket of her eye following the natural contour. She does her nose first, but I'm just using whatever is left on the brush because I'm terrified of this big brush. I would use something smaller, honestly. She just contours the bottom. I definitely need a side contour. What am I doing? <laughs> Then she does a really light concealer in specific areas of her face, which I will show you right now. And she uses a lot of concealer. So go heavy handed on this. She does highlight her chin as well. Again, I don't really need to do that. Looks like she already highlighted her nose. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of concealer there. Again, I shouldn't be highlighting my forehead if I wanna just contour it. And then she adds the tiniest bit of liquid blush to the back portion of her cheek. Two dots. Mine already looks way more blushy than hers. I actually love this placement of blush. I did this placement the other day when I did a cool tone look. You guys will be seeing a video with that look. We just got a tone down this side. Then she does a little bit of concealer underneath to contour. I'm just taking whatever is left on my brush. So this is just gonna further sculpt the face. For me, I definitely would do a little bit darker. You can really tell. This does its job though, but with powder, it should all blend together because I'm looking a little liney right now in terms of my contour. It will all come together. Trust the process. So she mixes a pressed and a loose powder to set her face. I'm gonna be going in with a pressed powder first and she uses another loose powder later on, which is Laura Mercier, which I'm just gonna use as my loose powder now. She uses her beauty blender to press it in. I recommend a puff. I just feel like it works better. I'm gonna do the same technique of pressing because that's what I do with a puff. She says this gets rid of bags and I definitely find it does that. You can see the hollow in this eye compared to this one. This smooths everything out. Powder for me is when it all comes together. Actually starting to look smooth. <laughs> then she uses my favorite Benefit Caramel to go over the places she contoured. Such a beautiful bronze shade. She uses her blush through the eye. So I'm just going to use my NARS Orgasm X, which will tie into the Orgasm Highlight very lightly though, because hers looks pretty peachy and light but we're just gonna do the same thing. And then she bakes with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. She uses a sponge. Again, I'm just gonna use my puff cause it's a little bit easier. And she does look like she has nose highlight. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and put some nose highlight on now. Can't remember the last time I baked, honestly. Then she does a tiny wing on the outer and inner corner using a brown liner. I'm using the Benefit The Real Extreme Precision Liner. Just Checking, make sure this is the brown one. You want it small enough so that it looks like just an extra eyelash, like she says. Then a little inner corner to elongate the eye. I might have to redo my corners because there's powder here. So far, so good, I'm liking this look. So now we're gonna curl the lashes and focus the mascara on the outer corner. I'm getting some eyelid creasing because she never said to set the eyes. I'm gonna just quickly do that. Instead of doing my mascara up like this, I'm just going to do it off to the side. Getting mascara everywhere. <laughs> we will clean that up in a second. Just waiting for our mascara to dry so I can just flake it off with a spoolie. Hopefully I remember to do that. We're gonna move on and see what she does next, which she does fill in her brows. She highlights the top of the eye and this is the point where I get confused. <laughs> so I guess I need to scrape this off now. Is it the arch? Is it the eyelid? Top of the eye. It looks like her lids glow a bit, so I'm gonna assume it's on the actual eye. Using the same highlight we had on her nose, I'm just going to highlight the top of my eye. It's definitely glowing. We're doing the right thing. Still with the bake on, we're gonna majorly overline our lips. I'm all for that. Then she uses a gloss from Palm Beauty. I looked it up. It's very, very nude. It looks more mauve-y in her video. 
So I tried to find one that was comparable in my collection. This was the best I could do. So I'm using Clinique Pop Splash Lip Gloss in Caramel Pop. And then she says we're ready, which we're not ready. We still have powder on our face. We have to wipe this off. <laughs> Just looking at George's, I'm going to clean up the inner corner of my eye because I couldn't really get in there with the powder. And then a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes because I neglected to do those. This eyeliner technique never really works for me because my skin folds over in my inner corner. So it kind of covers any sort of inner corner work right there, if you notice that. That's why I never do any of that to my inner corners, just because, especially with this eye, my skin, you can see it fold over, so you can't really see my inner corner. <laughs> just not gonna look the same as hers, that's all. So this is the completed look, what you guys think? Would you wear this for your passport makeup? When I'm looking at it on screen, apart from, the heavy baking that I did, it honestly doesn't look too unnatural for me. I've definitely worn heavier. So I think this could pass. I thought it would be a little too much, honestly for me, but for some reason I feel like I still look like myself in this makeup. I could have, I guess, went a little bit heavier, but I do feel like I'm fairly contoured. What do you guys think? Would you wear this? I think it's a beautiful look, honestly. I had so much fun recreating it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video too. Maybe found some new products, techniques. She definitely does makeup differently than me, but I think the finished product is really stunning. And I would definitely wear this again, honestly. It's so pretty. I love her hairstyle too. I think it's super cute. And I've actually worn this before because of her. I thought it was a really nice hairstyle. I got caught in the rain today and I'm still actually kind of wet. <laughs> so it worked out today. That is it for today's video. If you have any more recreations you want me to do, DM me on Instagram because you guys send me the most beautiful photos to recreate and I would love to do another one for you. These are one of my favorites now to do are these recreation videos. I have so much fun trying to do the look on myself, seeing how it is, discover new techniques. It's just a fun way to learn. So thank you guys so, so much for clicking on this video today, for spending some time with me. If you have not already, I would absolutely love for you to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell if you wanna be notified of all my future videos, and I will see you guys in my next one.